Hi friends, uh, this is Hari Krishnan, and this video is also about creating assignments, but in a different way. Uh, till now, we have given assignment uh, to the students, and uh, we'll post questions, and uh, students will be creating a word document or uh, something of their choice. Okay, or else they'll write it, their assignment in a paper, and they'll just take the snapshot of it and they'll post it. Okay, here we are going to create a question paper. And we are going to duplicate it for all the students, and the student are going to fill in that word document. Okay, so we'll see how they are going to do it. Okay, to make this possible, the teacher and student uh, they need uh, two other uh, applications other than Google Classroom. Uh, these two applications: Google Docs and Google Drive. Okay, Google D O C S Docs and Drive. If you don't find this in your mobile, please install it from Play Store. and let me get inside the classroom now and uh, as a quick recap i'll just tell you this is the class i'm going to use for my demo second bcaa which is already having a single student okay for this demo purpose i have created this class and it is going to have only one student and uh, for our purpose i have created or i've linked both these accounts in the same uh, mobile okay the teacher's account is this one We are at Hari Krishna at KSR Cast DDU. This particular ID is acting as a teacher, and the student is Hari V eighty five. My personal account Hari V eighty five at gmail dot com. Okay, I have configured both these accounts in my mobile so that we can just uh, view both the uh, IDs. Okay, from this mobile. Right. So I am going to create the question paper first in a Word document. So for that I need Google Docs. Okay, I am opening this Google Docs application. open it and uh, you could see the id on the bottom right the teacher's id okay so from here i'm going to create a document so on the bottom you could see the plus icon click it and select new document and here it is creating a new document and uh, here only i'm typing i'm going to type my question and i'm going to give space for the students to type their answers okay so on the bottom you could see the bullets right bullets uh, symbol click on it and choose numbering okay numbering option and uh, my first question is i don't want to make it a hard one okay so i'm giving a simple question what is your name and my second question is uh, type down the name of your native okay so these are the two questions i'm uh, going to give it to the to my students and uh, i'm going to give some space for them to type their answers so i have given some space for them and uh, on the top you could see uh, a tick icon blue tick icon so if you click that one your document will get saved we haven't gave any name for this document yet okay so you could see the name of the document is untitled okay so if you want to change the name of this document just click on this marked area okay so if you click on this marked area it will uh, it will give an option to rename your document okay just give a name called like uh, test doc okay so i have named it as test doc which is having my questions okay right so i have prepared my questions and i have saved it in documents uh, for your kind reference whatever document you are creating here in google docs will get saved in google drive okay so i have i'm using the account uh, uh, v.harikrishnan@ksrcast.edu so the document will be saved in google drives uh, google drive uh, uh, the account of uh, v.harikrishnan@ksrcast.edu okay so now i let me go inside the classroom application and i'm opening my classroom as a teacher okay so you know how to create uh, the assignment right so choose class work option here on the bottom and press the plus symbol on the bottom and select assignment okay which will give you an option uh, to create the assignment right so my assignment is for the all the students uh, my class is having only one student right so the assignment will be assigned to him so the title is uh, word document test right word document test i have already prepared a description okay so i have to just uh, revise it okay open the document given and provide your answers the answer there and uh, hand it okay i should given 
डोंट ऐड एनी न्यू अटैचमेंट सो दिस इज वॉट आई एम गिविंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन टू द स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो वॉट एवर डॉक्यूमेंट आई एम गिविंग यू द स्टूडेंट हैव टू फिल इन दिल इन फिल इन दियर आंसर्स इन दैट डॉक्यूमेंट ओके दे शुड नॉट ऐड एनी न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट और न्यू अटैचमेंट दैट्स वॉट सो the marks for this assignment is 10 and i'm going to fix the uh, deadline as uh, today is 4 april 4 and uh, i'm going to give one day time for them and the time is uh, before 6 pm they have to submit the assignment okay so i'm fixing the time as 6 pm 5th on 5th april 5th okay right so now it's time for us to uh, attach the question paper okay so you could see the attachment icon on the top right so i am going to just click this one and i already told you whatever document we are creating with the help of google docs will be stored in google drive okay so here i am going to use the option attach drive and i am going to select my drive okay things are getting loaded now yes and it's time for us to locate the file here it is test document what we have created okay so i'm selecting this one and it is getting attached now yeah just find the, the document on the bottom okay so the, the document is attached and you could see the icon here okay that means we we are getting options right multiple options so three options other than delete we got and the first option is student can view that means the attachment will be viewed by the student they will not be allowed to edit or make any correction over it they cannot uh, edit or modify anything okay so if that is the case you can choose this option but uh, what actually we have given is we are not asking them to add any new attachment right so that we need to consider okay and the second option given is student can edit okay if there are 30 students okay if there are 30 students in your class all 30 students will work on this single test document okay if you want that to happen you can use choose this option student can edit okay so all 30 students or of your class will come and edit this single document okay if that is the case you can choose this option right and uh, the third option make a copy for each student by the name itself you could understand uh, if you press assign Uh, this assignment okay if you are giving this assignment it will defaultly create okay if your class is having 30 students it will create 30 copies of this test document okay it will create an individual copy for every student and the student is going to type their answer in that document okay so this is the option i'm going to use because uh, we have already told right so there every student is going to provide their answer in the document which i have given okay so make a copy for each student i am selecting now yes that's it okay and i am posting the assignment with the help of post option so i am posting it uh, the submission of posting will create the document right if my class is having only one student so it will create one document on posting it okay right let me go and check the drive now okay i am going to check the drive now this document here it is there right okay fine all right now let us move on to the student send okay how he is going to prepare the test okay how how he has going to respond okay now i am switching to the student id you could see right i am switching to the student id and i have to locate the class uh, third second bcaa and uh, you could see some work is pending here right word document test is pending so i am clicking that and i am getting it you could see all those options right uh, word document test uh, due tomorrow 6 pm and i have give they have given the instruction properly so i was, i should not add any new attachment okay let me see the work column on the bottom your work column yeah i am getting a document here and i have to work on this document okay a test document for hari krishnan is created here okay so i am clicking on that now that i have to open this particular thing in drive to edit it okay 
this pen option will not give you the solution okay because it will treat it like an image okay if you want to edit it you have to press this symbol on the right side on the next on next to the pen is pen icon okay you have to open this particular file in drive so click on it and open it in drive still it is not editable okay you cannot edit it on clicking you cannot be editable okay so you just press the pen icon on the bottom so that you will edit this document okay fine uh, i'm going to give my answers now my name is hari krishnan and uh, the native of my is minus tripur okay right so i have made my assignment i've created my assignment and to save this document press the tick mark on the top so i'm pressing it all changes are saved now so i'm closing this document now and you have to just note that uh, you have made a modification but still it is not getting reflected here in the preview section okay so don't get confused here okay uh, your preview will never have that uh, answer okay so get back so you are going to turn in the assignment just turn in because you have already made the modification right yes your work is submitted now let me go and switch to the teachers account and see the assignment okay so i am switching to the uh, teachers id and again i am opening the word document test and i have to see the student work right this is the instruction section and i have to switch to the student uh, work section so i am switching to student work section and uh, one assignment is turned on, turned in turned in and uh, i am opening it now i have to select the student i'm clicking on it and i could see the document right uh, here and after seeing the document i have to put grade for him right so i'm opening the document now here too i'm not getting the preview of the answer okay so i have to open it in the drive to get the real view so on the top i have to select the open in drive option and i could see the two answers okay so all those two answers are marked okay fine so whatever answer is giving is right given is right right okay so i'm going to give him 10 marks for this and i'm going to return it to them to the student that's it this is how you will create a word document okay this is how normally you will create a word document and uh, Uh, make a copy of it to each and every student and you can collect it and you can grade it. Thank you.